Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Nasir Soft. In this video, we will talk about how we can change the input field value status to read only or uh, read on write only. Okay, in jQuery. The agenda of today video is first we include the Bootstrap and jQuery in our code. Then we create a simple form and after uh, creating the form on the base of the selector change we perform the action to hide or show the specific input field status to read only or read or write only okay so this is very simple so just follow me so here uh, first I create a new PHP file for example this is the file and save it inside my HD docs I am using the XAM server so in XAM server you will create a new file inside the HD docs or you are using the VAMP server then you will create a file inside the www hierarchy so the file name is for example jQuery basics underscore basic and this is the php file okay you see that jquery basics dot php saved inside the HD docs and first now i change the title to something meaningful for example change status okay and inside the head section here i include the bootstrap and jquery through cdn link and the link is this one just copy and paste this one this is the uh, bootstrap included and this is this include the jquery okay so now bootstrap and jquery is included in our project and now we are moving to world to create a form so inside the body section here first i declare a div Okay, and the div class is total 15, 12 grids. Okay, and inside this div, I declare a form, and the form ID is, for example, my form. And its method is post. Okay. And inside this form, so this is the form, and inside this form, in first line, okay just cut this div and inside the form paste this one okay here and this div and here okay and for example inside this form in the first line there is a selector select and the selector ID is my selector. Okay. And inside this selector, there are options. Okay. For example, the first option value is uh, first something meaningful first input to read only and the second option value is for example the first input to write 
first input to right right only okay so this is the selector and inside this selector the by default the first input is read only okay so by default this is write only and when when we want to change the first input field to read only then we will select the selector from this one and it will you will see that it will change the status of first input field to read only okay so this is the our topic agenda as we uh, discussed earlier so here in the first line it creates a selector let's see go to the browser and call that new created php file and the file name is jquery inside my localhost basic dot php okay you will see that in the first line it create a selector and by default its value is first input to write only okay and when we change it to the read only then it will change the status of first input field to read only okay let's see so go to go back to your code and here in the second line for example this is also diff and the second line here we declare an input field and the input field label is for example label is for example current year data 2019 and its input that is a text field okay type is text and something placeholder for example placeholder inside this one 2019 and its id is 2019 field for example okay so in the first in the second line there is an input field and its value is 2019 and same copy this one and paste here and another input field and its value is 2018 and id is 2018 field okay and its label is also 2018 so save the file and go back to your browser and refresh the link and you will see that here in the first there is a selector and in the second one there is a 2019 and a 2018 field okay and by default you we can write anything inside both of this okay so this is right this is the status of this right okay writable so something meaningful give the some uh, underline new line between this these two so here just add the new line br okay three br here and here okay now you see that some spaces and same before here okay so now it makes some sense okay so now our agenda is this one by default you see that we can write anything inside both of the fields and both of the field allows the write mode so now when I change the selector to read only then the first field that is 2019 should be read only and we cannot able to write it something here so this is our agenda so now we will move to the jquery how we can change the this selector then disable the write mode and enable the read mode of the first field so this is our agenda so i go to the code and inside the head section here i am working on jquery code now there is a script and its type is application javascript okay 
and inside this script first we will catch the selector change event through jQuery method that is just follow me and the ID is the selector ID is my selector you will see that here the selector ID is my selector and when its field is on change on event is called then on change then you will call a function will call a function okay and here close the Okay, here you can remove this one. And when selector is changed, then first we will get, for example, the first option has a value of write only and write only, uh, for example, the here is two, and the second have the value of one. So. It, uh, through the value we can assume that if the value is 1 then the the first input field should be read only and if the value is 2 this first input field is write only so this is just our uh, understanding purpose okay so we named the both the option the value 1 and value 2 so here I check if the selector value okay selector value is this if the selector sorry value is equal to if the selector value is equal to 1 then enable the read only of uh, status of the first field okay so if the selector value is 1 sorry here if the selector value is equal to 1 then here I said that enabled read only status of first input field okay so this is the line of code for which we can enable the status of first field to read only mode okay so this is the ID of the first field, the first field va uh, value uh, ID is 2019 field. Okay, so this is 2019 field. Dot attribute to read only. And here again read only. okay so just save the file and go to your browser and let's see what's happened refresh the page and now by default it is write only both of the field okay and if I change the selector to read only then you will see that it's all, all uh, also allow to write it's, it's, uh, it means that there is something error in my code okay so I go back to the code okay first change uh, this is the uh, small c okay not capital C and before the we should call the document start ready okay in our jQuery so here write the line that is document dot ready and inside this one there is a function and here this is start and at the end this end okay now save the file and go back to your browser and refresh the link now here you see that by default 
we can write anything inside the 2019 input field or inside the 2018 input field so when i change the this selector status to first input to read only and now you will see that inside the first field we cannot write i am writing here in my keyboard and nothing will happen it means it lock the write mode and enable the read mode of the first input field and we can write anything inside the second but not inside the first so it lock the is it, it enable the read only status of the first input field so through this line of code it enabled the read only state of this input field so when i change this status to write only but here it all uh, also not allow me to write anything inside this field so now now we will move when we change this st uh, status to write only that again it remove the read only uh, mode from this input field and allow the write status inside this one so go to your code and inside the else okay or else if if this value is equal to the 2 okay you will see that the input field value is 2 then remove the read only state from the first field okay so just copy the whole line and paste here and change a little bit okay and here there is a uh, attribute that is remove attribute okay what that is read only so just remove the attribute of read only from this field save the file go back your browser and refresh the name here you see that by default we can write anything in both field when I change the selector to first input read only that the inside the first input field we cannot write anything it lock the uh, write mode and enable the read only mode of the first field but we can write the second in the second one okay when I change this status again to write only then we can write anything inside the first one and inside the second one so hope guys you will understand now and uh, this video will help you a lot if you have any questions regarding to this topic please write inside the comment section thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day